You know, we've been talking about winning and what can we guarantee? Everything what you can guarantee is what you want to bet on in life, right? That's what you want to bet on. So winning wouldn't be the same if I didn't talk about prospecting right now. So what does winning look like? I had this conversation with an agent the other day and he was saying to me, I haven't got many listings right now. My pipeline's looking really thin, Claudio. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next two to three months, who's coming on, etc." And I just asked him the question. I said, how many conversations or calls are you making on a daily basis? And he couldn't give me an answer. And I said, no, just really think out loud. What, how many calls on average are you making per day? And he came up with a number like something like eight to 10. And I said, you know what, to me, if you wanna win in this game today, it's all about the more conversations you have, the more appointments you'll get, the more leads, the more appointments, the appointments then become listings, listings become sales. So it's all about guaranteeing how many calls you need to have, right, around your prospecting. So write down a number that you can guarantee in doing each day. My belief is you need to do, be doing about 30. Then try and aim to say, okay, I'm gonna book three to five appraisals per week. Think about your social currency. It's about getting face to face. I get some agents today saying to me, oh, but Claudia, I don't wanna waste my time with someone who's selling in a year's time. You know what, buddy, guess what? We're in the relationship business. How do you build a real estate business? Really simple, brick by brick, interaction by interaction, relationship by relationship. That's how you build a good business today. If it's real estate, that's what you need to be doing. So even if someone's thinking about selling in a year, that's a great opportunity to meet them now, nurture them, and then guess what? You'll get their listing in a year's time. So book three to five MAs per day. The other thing is your buy work. Yes, correct, buy work. We didn't have to do much of that recently, but guess what? In 2018, it's become a lot more relevant and you need to provide a level of service of how you're gonna have a system with your buy work. So maybe say, I'm gonna find two AAA buyers, which could mean a buyer and a seller. Someone is looking at buying, but it's got something to sell. Put two down each week that you wanna identify. The other one is you wanna maintain a hot 20 buy list. So in my previous video that you would have seen around winning, I said you've got to have that list in front of you. So try and maintain that list up to 20 at all times. Cull the ones who have bought or no interest in buying any longer and put the new ones onto that list. Doesn't mean you can stop at 20, but just maintain that as a minimum number that you want to work with. And finally is, for some people, it could be letterbox drops or putting posts on social media. They're the things you can guarantee. And every one of those bits around there is around following a prospecting schedule. Now, the final thing I want you to think about with prospecting is this. What's your trigger? What's your trigger in terms of getting you to pick up the phone and prospect? Because I always find there's a blockage for a lot of people and the fear around getting on the phone. And there's only one thing that's stopping. It's you, up here. Understanding like, what is it why you're not getting on the phone? So what's the trigger that's gonna help you get there? Let me share for me, how it got me to prospect every time. I used to, next to my phone, I had a photo of, um, we went to America in Disneyland, I think it was like 2008. Yeah, that's like a long time ago, 10 years ago or so. And I remember with this photo, there was a photo of myself, my wife, and we had my kids. And guess what, on either side, there was Mickey and Minnie. And next to the photo, I had a speech bubble drawn up. And in that speech bubble, it said, come on daddy, book one appointment a day so we can have another amazing holiday. At the end of the day, my purpose about making the calls every day was to create memorable moments with my family because that's what I treasured most, is having the time with my family. So I'm gonna double down, triple down, do the hard work now, roll the sleeves up, and almost like get my face punched every day. But at the same time, I knew the reward at the end of making those calls and getting them through because there was a memorable moment that was gonna be created. The more people I spoke to, the closer we're getting to my family and all of us being on a holiday. So what's your trigger for this second quarter of 2018?